Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we'll be watching Has Been Hotel Season 1, Episode 7. This is the penultimate episode of the season. We are already closing in on the season finale. All right, so the last episode, a lot of things happened in the last episode. Charlie and Vaggy got access to heaven. The meeting didn't go exactly as they planned. The whole episode was a slow realization that the people from heaven uh, have no idea of who gets into heaven. I mean, what's the criteria for someone to get into heaven? And uh, I mean, who doesn't make it there? It, it was kind of fun to watch them be confused over the whole thing. They were just pondering over it. <laughs> but the Vaggy reveal was a surprise for sure. Uh, that's going to cause some tension in the Charlie Vaggy relationship. But I love how the last episode was written. And that actually includes the songs as well. And Angel Dust has truly transformed because of Charlie. I mean, full credit to Charlie here. But that was one of the best things to happen in the last episode. He was basically babysitting Nifty. And uh, that's a difficult job. <laughs> but Emily was also kind of fun. She brought in a lot of positive energy. I hope she has a bigger role in the future. I definitely love the energy that she brought to the table. The last episode probably had the best cliffhanger moment because now there are a lot of unanswered questions. So I'm excited to watch the next episode. But before we go ahead, leave a like, subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell to get the latest updates. And without any further ado, let's just dive right in. sensitive about her lack of wings yeah just like her lack of tits <laughs> unnecessary <laughs> how come every time charlie talks to heaven we get in deeper and deeper shit that's a legit question her best is turning out real well so far why so pessimistic today oh, oh he just appeared in her room you look an absolute mess Ugh, go away, Alistair. Yeah, she's not in the mood for <laughs> anything right now. I have enough on my mind without hearing Bruce's no. artistic idea of a joke, asshole. True that. I never expected to see such a miserable display of self-loathing from you. Oh, f*** you, Alistair. All you do is stand there <laughs> smiling while you watch us struggle and fail. Hey, come on. He's helping. I mean, not right now, but... In general. Just because you see a smile, don't think you know what's going on underneath. That is a true. smile is a valuable tool, my dear. And ensures that no matter what comes your way, you're the one in control. True. Very true. It's difficult to judge a person. It's difficult to judge Alistair. I know something you don't know. Oh, he's about to tell her the secret? Just that you and your little band of misfits might stand more of a chance than you think. How? I'll do anything. Anything? No. <laughs> you want my soul? Your soul? Heavens, no. Oh, okay. He does not. What? I would call him a friend, but I just don't trust him enough. No. Deal. Oh, she's making a deal with him. That green, right on that green is a sign of danger from Alistair. <laughs> Vaggy is about to attack Alistair. I don't think she has any chance against him. She killed an exorcist in the last extermination. She knows how they can be harmed. If you did, would you have told me? Charlie. Oh, come on. Yeah, I understand Charlie, though. She feels betrayed. As long as Charlie can be her normal, charming self. <laughs> What's that you said about smiles? Ah. Girl. She learned very quickly. We have a job to do. You with us? Of course she is. Right now, she doesn't even have an option to not be with them. Alistair and Charlie even if you wanted like to. They were running away from their responsibilities. <laughs> Should we be alarmed? No. Yeah, that knife lady, Camaro. Of course, the one. egg Wait, boys know about know about this. Oh, yeah, I told boss about it months ago. He oh, that what? was months ago. <laughs> they say insane all the time. How was I supposed to know this one was true? Bank accounts are a scam created by the shadow government. See? And they prove their insanity, stupidity. I tell her everything. My hopes, my dreams, my insecurities, my embarrassing habits. What deodorant I like? And she keeps something like this from me? It's surprisingly nice here. Isn't it though? Oh, Cannibal Town. 
your first husband. I certainly would have if he didn't taste so bad. So she ate him? Tasted him? <laughs> I don't even want to know. Alistair, where have you been? <laughs> She's so happy to see him. Oh, what am I thinking? Small thing like you. You're probably watching your finger. How about some nice pinky fingers instead? Oh, oh my god. <laughs> fingers. Eating fingers. All of Alistair's friends are just charming. And well-dressed. Not to forget. The extermination is coming early. It'll be here in a month and they're, they're coming from my hotel. Okay. <laughs> the freak out begins. I, 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 we need your help. And by the end, they will be able to eat their fill. That should tempt them. Sure. Why not? Yeah. Really? Wait, that was that simple? Okay. We can talk about it inside or I can yell about it out here. Ah, she's gonna gain access. Yeah. Right, you open that door. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> we know an angel fell at your hands, and we need to know how. No. What do you mean, no? No? Princess Straight no? Okay. Nothing to me. Wow. Clearly, I am not the helpless one here. 80 seconds. Okay, she's a badass. I mean, we already knew that, but... I will not invite destruction into my house. Does she have a choice there? How exactly has that worked out for her? She has hands like Popeye, you know, <laughs> big forearms. Or you can stand alone tomorrow, and what do you think your chances will be then? You're out of time. That is true, though. Baggy has a point. Angels attack quickly, viciously, and without mercy. You'll need to defend better than that. Oh, she's actually training Baggy here. But how do I... With Sparkle! Razzmatazz! Razzmatazz! It's not like you've ever failed to inspire before. He has a point. You'll need to convince all of them. Okay, no pressure. <laughs> Susan, who's a bit of oh. a... Uh, bitch. bitch. Yeah. That. Put your bloody hands together. <laughs> bloody hands. Whoa! Great Rosie. Okay, that's Susan, Susan, I guess. Susan. Yeah. And, well, I have this hotel. Oh my god, Susan is annoying. How is Susan's voice bigger, I mean louder, than... <laughs> Charlie, who is on a mic? By beating the shit out of me, I'm not used to fighting with long hair. She has long hair too. You have a giant X over your eye and wield an angelic spear. It's not rocket science. Wait, so she knew all this all along? Damn. Angels wield no shields, little armor, and fight with reckless abandon. Oh, interesting to know. Angelic weapons? It's that simple? How has Vaggy not figured this out all by her own? She was an angel. I mean, okay. Oh, so Carmilla has angelic weapons. I mean, her feet. Okay. Oh, look at that stride. Damn. <laughs> she has an interesting stride. Out for love. That's an interesting approach. Okay, now they're both enjoying this. What? Wait, she got her wings back? She just got her wings back. How does that make you feel? Just... <laughs> Charlie is in therapy right now. Isn't that silly hotel of yours all about redemption? Yes. That's a good point. I was trying to redeem herself too. If she weren't a cannibal, she would be such a nice woman. <laughs> well, how do you normally explain your hotel? By singing. But that never works. It will work here. Alright, I guess another song is coming. You mean like human flesh? Susan, stop it. <laughs> They're like proud parents right now. It's like she's giving an audition or something. <laughs> you know, in front of all of these people. Susan might be getting convinced right now. There are kids in Cannibal Town. <laughs> That's jokes. Love it. Okay, I guess they're all on board? Damn. Why are there kids in Cannibal Town? <laughs> <laughs> you 
Alistair does have faith in Charlie, though. I mean, he knows she can inspire a lot of people. Alistair guiding Charlie could be, yeah, that could be something. I mean, he has been doing this all along, but yeah. Okay, this song is like, you're getting pumped up for the war that is coming. Damn, loving this right now. I got you a souvenir from Cannibal Town. Okay, oh. they patched up. They patched things up. Oh, wow. They're... Okay. They're fortifying the castle. The hotel, I mean. You're still here. Do you think we're a bunch of pussy? Sir Penches just needs an excuse to say S. S. Wow, they're really setting things up for the next episode, huh? All right, so we are gearing up for a war against the angels. I had a feeling that the last episode would be the actual war. Can't wait to watch that one. So Wacky knows how to kill angels now, which is crucial information. I'm excited to see her in action. It's interesting to know that Waggy was, you know, trying to keep her wings from regrowing or reforming uh, just because she was trying to hide her identity. It's like keeping an essential limb from growing but now i guess her secret identity is not a secret anymore it's uh it's pretty much public now so she was able to regrow her wings that should help her in the fight right i wonder why carmilla was trying to keep her secret away when she is aware that the fight could come back to her even when the angels attack again I mean, I know she was trying to, like, protect her family, but it's not like she's immune from the attacks. Or maybe, just maybe, the angels won't mess with her again because they're aware that she knows how to kill them now. Interesting. Then the deal that Charlie made with Alistair, mm, I'm not sure what to think of that. He's like a double-edged sword, you know? Uh, I mean, on one hand, he's nice to Charlie, but then he also knows that Charlie has a lot of power, and Alistair is definitely hungry for power. I'm interested to see where that goes. But that was quite an episode. I cannot wait to watch the next one, but uh, this one was great, and thank you for watching it with me, and if you can, please leave a like on the video, subscribe to my channel, and hit that notification bell to get the latest updates, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!